welcome to the Doo Chocolate Cafe in Wandsworth. Today I'm going to make something really simple. I'm going to make a Brazil nut, lemon and raspberry roulade. First thing I'm going to do is line a baking tray. So I've roughly lined it, cut the corners. And I'm then going to use my light fry spray just to stick them down. I'll take the lid off. You may need to cut that bit. So this will stick down the corners and hold the edges down. In my trusted Kenwood, five eggs. In goes 60 grams of caster sugar. And then I'm then gonna put it onto the Kenwood at top speed and I'm gonna spin it for roughly six minutes. And we're on. Here, I've got 60 grams of Brazil nuts. I've chopped my nuts pretty thoroughly and I'm just gonna sprinkle them over the mousse. I've now got a tablespoon of plain flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and I'm gonna sieve that in all over the surface. Then I'm gonna put a splash of oil. That'll do. What I'm gonna do then is gently fold it because what I don't want to do is lose volume. So with my trusty spoon, just fold it gently in. Folding is really just cutting through, spinning very gently, picking up from the bottom again and just folding the whole thing in. So the nuts are evenly distributed, the flowers are evenly distributed, and the oil just adds to the body. As far as I'm concerned, that's done, it's enough. I'm gonna spoon onto each corner first. One, two, three, four. Then into the centre, I'm going to push the whole lot in. Even it out, you don't have to be precise, you don't have to be fussy. As long as you get it into the corners, it's going to find its own levels with a bit of luck. That's ready. Now into the oven, preset oven, 190 for 10 minutes. Quick and easy to do in the oven. So now it's out of the oven after 10 minutes. Um, you can see it's nice and firm, it's cooked well enough. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make two roulards out of this one. So I'm going to cut through the centre and have two smaller roulards. The good thing about these is, is that you can freeze them. I'm going to move it to one side and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to put the thing together. In this bowl, I have whisked 350 grams of natural yoghurt and 500 millilitres of double cream. And in this one, I have 300 grams of lemon curd. First thing I'm going to do is put my whisk cream into a piping bag. Now, the, there's nothing worse than over whipping your cream. Best to keep it a slight bit under whipped. And it's going into the piping bag like so. You don't have to be fussy. Just get it in there. Put it together, squeeze it down to the bottom, and you're ready for an off. I'm going to dredge some icing sugar over some foil. Right, so I've turned the roulots, I've cut them in half. I've turned them over onto a, a dredge of icing sugar on tobacco foil. So now as you can clearly see, I'm peeling off the greaseproof paper. If it becomes difficult, just do it in small sections and in small pieces. 
coming away okay-ish. One off. Over to the next one. Pulling off gently, but firmly. Last piece comes off. Here, lemon curd heated just to thin it down a touch. Spoon it on and with the back of the spoon, smooth it over. Right to the edges. And remember to smile. Right to the edges with the lemon curd, just using the back of your spoon, just get it on. <coughs> so onto both. You need to pipe your cream on because if you try and spoon it on, all it will do is skid over your lemon curd. So pipe your cream on. Gives it a nice edge if you take it right to the very end. Swiss roll. That's done. So holding it here, pull your paper up and to get your first fold in, turn the roulade over. Then begin to lift the paper and it should begin to roll on its own. You've got your dredging of icing sugar, pick the paper up the other side, find yourself a nice clean slate and begin to roll it on. You don't want the, the join at the top, you really want that at the bottom. So there's one, ready to go. <coughs> Remember, the join should come to the bottom and not on the top. Perfect. Right, so I've just put a final bit of dredging, it's just icing sugar in a sieve um, on top of the roulades there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut through in order to portion. So cut, 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 not too difficult. Tempered chocolate pattern, which I did yesterday, I'm going to use them for my portioning. So I pattern the chocolates, but this one I've left all the same. This one I'm going to kind of alternate the pattern a bit because I did two patterns of white chocolate yesterday. I'm going to finish this off with a bit of double cream. Touch more coolie onto this. And remember a coolie is made generally by just frozen fruits and sugar and thinned with water. I think you'd be proud of that at any dinner party. Brazil nut, lemon, raspberry, roulade. So I'm smiling because I've finished this job. I've cut one large roulade in half, giving me two roulades. Um, raspberry, Brazil nut and lemon. Um, you'd be proud to serve it up at any dinner party. It's easy to do, they're not complex, they're not difficult. Particularly, they're fast and they're not that expensive to make at all. So why not look on our website? You'll find the recipes on the website. Plus, you'll find many of our exciting courses where you can learn to do this in no more than 20 minutes yourself. All right, well, thanks for watching.